क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द केमिकल प्रिपरेशंस ऑफ इंटरहाइड्रोजन कंपाउंड्स एंड नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द जनरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ इंटरहाइड्रोजन कंपाउंड्स सो व्हाट आर दोस लेट मी टॉक अबाउट दैट इन दिस टॉपिक So friends, in this topic, I am going to talk about the general characteristic of interhydrogen compounds, and starting with the first point, that is, the interhydrogen compounds are covalent in nature. The reason we have that is, suppose if I am talking about the two halogen atoms, and the both are being combined so as to form a molecule, so it is clearly understood that is, the both are electronegative, and that's the reason that because of which the electronegative difference is very much less, and this only happens whenever two atoms combines to form a covalent bond. Because in covalent bond, basically there is no larger difference. in the electronegativity and that is what we are talking about that is interhalogen compounds are basically covalent in nature and talking about the next one that is they are volatile unstable but they are not explosive yes they are volatile gases but they are not explosive like for example suppose if i am talking about hf so in hf basically we understand that is hydrogen is more electro positive while the fluorine is the most electronegative and that's the reason that it is very much reactive so but in case of that is interhalogen compounds they are not that much reactive even though being unstable but the thing is they are not explosive also and talking about the next one that is they are diamagnetic in nature yes they are diamagnetic in nature because of they have basically pair of electrons they all are basically bonding with each other and that's the reason that they are basically diamagnetic and suppose if we talk about the other atoms like fluorine so fluorine it itself basically a paramagnetic in nature and that is what this were the three characteristic but now let me talk about the chemical reactions also so it has been found that is the interhalogen compounds they are very much reactive compared to that of the hydrogen halides for example the reason behind that is they have weaker bond of attraction between the two halogen atoms suppose if i am talking about interhalogen compounds so because of which the bond breaking could be very much easy and that's the reason that they are very much reactive compared to that of the other halogen halides and that is the reason that i am going to talk about a few reactions related to the reaction of interhalogen compounds with water the reaction of interhalogen molecules with water so in this case basically i am considering icl and suppose if it is reacted with two moles of hcl so therefore it will produce that is hydronium ion along with that of that is cl minus along with that of which is known as hypoiodous acid and talking about the next reaction that is whenever two moles of icl3 is reacted with three moles of h2 it will produce icl along with that of hio3 which is known as iodic acid along with that of that is five moles of hcl So talking about the other reactions, that is, whenever the two moles of IF5 is reacted with five moles of H2O, it will produce that is 10 moles of HF along with that of that is I2O5 that is known as iodine pentoxide. So in this case, this all reactions that is what the interhalogen compounds are reacting with water. So they are basically reversible reactions, and this is what I have discussed about here. So this clearly indicates that. the interhalogen compounds are very much reactive compared to that of the other halogen and this is what i have discussed about so that's it thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much